Here we have an old historic building. Once upon a time, the mills was a cotton mill. We want to pay homage to the heritage of this building. It is almost natural to have a new mill, new technology for a mill inside the old building. We want to keep a lot of the original designs, a lot of the original features of the space. It's very, very rare. The eventual user will call upon the original designer to help them out in their interior fit out. HK Readers allowed us to take the DNA of what we had as a design and distill it into their own space. They wanted a connection to the past. For us, again, it was an opportunity to do something that made our design connected with what was originally Hong Kong's. The principal materials we used in the GGG space was glass, steel, and a respect for the materials that are surrounded, which are the pillars and the metal gate. We try to make the columns not just part of the structure, but part of the design. We've integrated the way desks are working with the braces of the original columns. From a symbolic point of view, the container is something that's very, very integral to Hong Kong. It talks about mobility, it talks about durability, it talks about transportability we were able to retain the idea of a container by having the kind of yellow with doors and the framework of the container is that it's a continuation of the container, but we made it out of glass. You can look inside and see the mechanism and the actual heartbeat that runs this G to G, which is the eight different units that they have to recycle clothes into a renewable wear. It was very much a mini mills within the mills. We have on the machines and on the glass walls themselves explanations about what we're doing, what's the next step in the process. We want to demystify the whole recycling process for them. We want them to understand the, the intrinsic value of the clothes that they have and how much more you can do with it. We want a G2G to be educational. We want a G2G to be something that shows the promise of what is from the past that can be extended to the future. When the actual user comes up to the counter and touches the raw materials that we use to assemble the counters, they can see and feel and touch. It's a very visceral experience for the people when they go through. We are trying to connect the past with the present. We're trying to connect the community with our project. And from this, we want people to understand that this is actually a place where they can go and they can learn something new. This is a place for people to exchange and see ideas. And if we can do that, then we've succeeded.